Okay guys, my hair is still kind of wet from coming home and being at the pro-life event. I had a really good time and um, definitely made some connections. Like I said, people remembered me from last year um, and I connected with a friend who knows a friend and on and on it goes. So good community there and that's what you want. When you've come from um, a community that has some brokenness, you want to, in your family, you want to continue to build in your life. So I just had somebody say to me, um, oh my goodness, you've had five years of cleaning experience because they are hiring. I actually look for opportunity, right? I went up to this company and said, uh, yeah, hey, cool, you know, glad you're here. Are you, are you hiring? Yes, we are, she said. So um, that's another opportunity. And just let me talk about my work stuff with Kevin Lee Andrews' accusations a minute. He and my husband, they have been like, oh, you can't keep a job. And you know what? My main job was homeschooling, and that was 29 years. Mothering, being a wife, homeschooling. That was my main job. My other jobs were just side hustles, whether it was shoveling with my kids, doing a newspaper route until I was no longer able to carry because I was a, you know, pretty close to labor. So I've always done something. <clears throat> After my firstborn son, I worked at a store. Um, always have been very independent. Graduated early from high school, went to college for a year, decided, you know what, that's not really my cup of tea, what I was doing. Um, probably didn't have the maturity for it at the time. Um, I was trying to figure out my life, and then I went to hairdressing school, graduated while I was pregnant with my firstborn son, but then I chose to stay home and instead stay home and be a mother instead of choosing a career. So, um, and then from there, you know, I have done a lot of side hustles. That has not been what I wanted was my main job as, um, you know, just my main job was being a mother, right? And homeschooling. So that's enough right there. So when I did side hustle, I went into the cleaning company business and my husband's like, oh, she either quit or got fired. And my husband half the time didn't even know where I was working. So he really didn't know what was going on. And I just had, I have, I, I am a good worker. I was told I was reliable. You're a hard worker. Um, you can see it all throughout my life. <clears throat> I'm not like this lazy mother who does nothing, right? Neighborhood kids, we're getting ready to go to Chuck E. Cheese. So anyways, um, oh, okay, that's my other son. Oh, wait, okay, so I gotta get going. But anyways, um, yeah, so I've got this guy who's like, Melissa, the minute you call me, we've got work in New Hampshire for you. You know, so they're, they're like, if you want to come to New Hampshire, I worked at the Boys and Girls Club. So he's like, you want to come to New Hampshire, I have work at the drop of the dime. Just tell me, give me a call, tell me what time you're coming, I got work for you. So I only got fired really once. I mean, technically, there was something that was like, you know, oh, I quit. No, we fire you. There was like a miscommunication. That wasn't really getting fired. That was me saying, you know what, this, I, you know, this thing is bothering me kind of thing. So, um, the second time a second boss said, Melissa, I don't know what's going on. He's like, I think it's political. You know, I think this guy <clears throat> has a political issue with you. And then I was just talking to a friend today and like I said, the Broadmoor was the worst place I worked. And they, they did fire me for no reason. I had a manager who, like I said, a couple managers who didn't know what they were doing. <coughs> and I just found out today that manager was fired. And I'm like, you're kidding. And they're like, no, he only managed the place for six months and he's gone. He is the only manager I have ever said in all my restaurant years of working, you don't know what you're doing. And I was right. The whole company just fired him because he didn't know what he was doing. He was causing stress. He was causing a lot of problems. Pretty much because of his issues, I got fired. So they fired the guy. And I'm not saying it's right, but I was right on with his management. <clears throat> and when you're in the restaurant business for a while, you know what you're doing. So, um, yeah. So um, my work experience on top of everything I have done is even with the side hustles hey she's a good worker and when you kind of um like the cleaning business i mean I, i've been in there for five years and what you're doing is you're kind of investing in yourself when you're doing that 
And a couple of those jobs, like I got laid off, I said, I was at Volvo, I got laid off. They're like, hey, let's, let's bring you to the lakes region. And I'm like, well, you know, I don't really want to travel because I've got my family and I've got my kids. And then, then I was told, um, <clears throat> another supervisor, I followed him to another job because I did so well. Then I was laid off from there. And then I was asked to manage banks. And I'm like, no, I don't want to manage banks. That would take, you know, it just wouldn't be feasible, you know, with my family. So I have had so many opportunities. And then another company, I'm like, this one particular account, I don't want. I'm willing to do these accounts, but not this one. So that job, I didn't want to continue because I just, you know, I have my priorities. I have my values. I, I have not had to work. My husband and I were like, this is the agreement between us. You stay home and take care of the kids. I'm out there working so that I can succeed for my family. There was never any expectation for me to work. And I actually chose to work, um, even though I didn't have to. And I had a lot of resources, so I didn't have to work. But I chose to work anyways. And that is something that I will always do. I always love to learn. I think curiosity is a huge part of that um, for me and I love to serve and help other people. So right now I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese um, with the neighborhood kids and usually if you're other focused and you focus on others, you are gonna be well taken care of in life because you're not being selfish, you're other focused.